Like it moves. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're gonna be going over a new Ram 1500 Bighorn with the Night Edition package, aka Ben Hardy's favorite package on the Bighorn. But before we get into this video, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Ryan. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a Natchez aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes to an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy, 15 around town, 21 on the highway with power puts being 395 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque. Now, something to mention is currently with 2023 model year trucks, Early availability is with the e-torque only. So if you want a 5.7 Hemi, you gotta have it with the e-torque on initial release. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see it's kind of raised there in the center, but the cool thing about the night edition is, well, the badges blacked out. And then popping down, you guys can see that trend continues. So yes, we do have the halogen lights. Um, notice the fog lights here at the bottom. We also have parking sensors at the bottom. And you can see the grill all blacked out with the Ram logo also being blacked out. And I mean, when you put it all together, this truck looks aggressive. Coming around the side here, our tire we all set up is 275, 55, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the wheels, you've got that kind of like matte finish on them and then obviously five spoke design all blacked out. It's, it's cool. Notice the Ram logo also blacked out and then you can see this one has the trailer tow mirrors. And then it's kind of hard to see, but we have multi-link in the back end, so no leaf springs. And then taking a look at the full side profile here, you guys can see crew cab with the 5.7 bed and it's it's cool looking. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, remote start, and then the Ram logo there on the back. And then actually popping inside, notice that slow lowers down. We have a payload capacity of 1,715 pounds. And then actually popping in, you guys can see this one doesn't have the bed utility group or anything. So no LED bed lights or anything fancy like that. Just a good old fashioned painted truck bed. Lifting up the tailgate, it is very light. Now you guys can see the taillights here. They kind of have like a darker appearance to them. And then obviously all the badges here on the back also blacked out. And then we got the darker exhaust tips there at the bottom with the parking sensors. And then when it comes to towing capacity, it's like right around that 10,000 pound range. And putting it all together, the night edition, it just, it looks so good. It just gives the big horn less of like a work truck appearance and more of like a sporty cool truck appearance. Now with the door panel in the rear, you guys can see the darker trim here and then look at the cloth trim and then all of the padding and stitching down below that. And then the big one has really nice cloth seats. The sunlight is totally running this shot, but you guys can at least see part of the seat right there. Very comfortable, by the way. And then you do have under seat storage with these seats and then you also have these ice buckets as well. So you can see in the back of the crew cab legroom is solid. We've got a little storage pocket. We have our cup holders here with the blacked out trim and then vents, USBs, and then a full outlet. And then headroom's also solid back here. And yes, this does have a cup holder armrest. Now taking a look at the front door panel here, you guys can see again the darker trim here, the cloth trim, and then the padding down below. All of our window controls front two are automatic. You got your mirror adjustments. And then, and like I said, this has the trailer tow mirror, so they do flip up. And then again, you got the gray cloth here on these seats, which looks very nice. And then our power adjustments on the side. We have our pedal adjustment down below with our parking brake light controls here. Notice the fog light and then the cargo light and then the steering wheel manually adjustable. Taking a look at the steering wheel, we've got really nice padding all around with the darker stitching on the center portion. Radio controls on the back, we have our cruise control, controls for center stack, voice command controls, and then our gear limiter set up right here. And of course, turn signal windshield wiper stock. So as of right now with the new Bighorn, you can get this upgraded version of the gauge cluster, which has a little bit of a bigger screen compared to the base model version that I reviewed earlier. You can't get a digital gauge cluster though right now. Um, I don't know if Ram's gonna offer it in the future, but the full digital is only available on like a GT package, Laramie or Rebel and above. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyways, this gauge cluster still looks nice. It shows you a bunch of different info on the truck. You know, the normal stuff. Now with the backup camera, you can see we can zoom in there on the receiver hitch. And then we do have the trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. 
Got a cool little 12 volt there at the top and look at like the darker trim here on the top of the dash and then kind of like harder touch with the big horn. And then I guess back to the screen. Um, first off, got a shortcut bar here at the bottom, making that cool mouse clicky sound. Um, response time with the setup uh, overall is solid. Notice the dual zone climate controls and the infotainment system. So I'd say pretty easy to use. We've got analog controls here for the radio, dual zone climate controls, heated seats, heated steering wheel as well. And then you guys can see here for the parking sensors and then notice the tow haul mode, the stability control, and then your trailer steering setup. And then this one has the trailer brake controls as well. Well, I'll be, you guys can see we've got our dial shifter here and it looks like this truck is two wheel drive because there's no, there's no four wheel drive select. So uh, this will be interesting. And then you guys can see here with the center console, and this decent storage space inside. And then this does slide backwards and forwards. And then you got your little USB ports here. And it's the storage space. And then we have a full outlet down below. Now you guys can see we've got the glove box set up here. And this big horn logo there at the front portion or whatever side. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Anyways, we have a power sliding rear window. And then just a darker colored headliner. Well, since this truck is two-wheel drive, it stickers for $57,665 after all options. If this was a four-wheel drive uh, version of this truck, you'd be looking at like $60,000, uh, roughly, if you guys are wondering. And now it makes sense as to why the front end's a little bit lower than normal, but let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear, and let's set off. So setting off in this big horn, first off, I'm kind of confused as to why this is even here in Utah, because, well, there's this white fluffy stuff that happens to, like, accumulate on the ground every single year, and so yeah, people don't really go for two-wheel drive trucks here, but um, yeah, who knows why it's here. Anyways, actually uh, driving this truck, it actually drives very similar to like a four-wheel drive truck. I think this is the first time I've ever driven a fifth gen with two-wheel drive because again, we don't get them up here in Utah. Feels about the same. It might feel a little bit lighter though on the front end. Maybe it's just in my head because now I'm thinking about it. No, I mean, I drove a Laramie just before this at four-wheel drive. Yeah, I'd say this actually does, it, it does feel a little bit uh, different. Um, now, some other stuff, Bighorn seats are super comfortable. It's one of the big benefits of the Bighorn is, again, this is kind of like their you know, um, upgraded work truck package is the best way to look at it. Like, you know, Chevy LT, Silverado is the same way, you know, Ford XLT. It's like, okay, you, you don't want a work truck look and you don't want a work truck interior. And so you go for this, but you don't want to pay, you know, luxury truck prices like you'd pay with like a Laramie, for example. And I still think that this one, I don't know, just feels the best out of the bunch because the interior looks really nice. The seats are really comfortable. It just has uh, quite a bit uh, going for it. Um, the only thing that I will say that, uh, I, you know, I mentioned earlier, Volvo, use your turn signal. Oh my gosh, I hate people. Uh, is, I wish they'd offer a gauge cluster, the digital gauge cluster rather, in this, as an option at least. Not make it standard, because that would obviously bring up the price, but, you know, I think there's some people that would want to get that new digital gauge cluster with the Bighorn package. And then as for the 5.7 Hemi V8, um, it, it's a solid powertrain, and you guys will see with the acceleration here. New WRX, that's cool. Like it moves. It's not quite as snappy as the e-torque. The e-torque gets a little bit more shove off the line, but this still feels very strong. And unless you drive them back to back, you won't really perceive the difference. And so, you know, let's kind of get into setting things up here. So, you know, exterior wise, I love the night edition package. Uh, I think it looks so cool. It's such a sporty looking truck. Interior at the new Bighorn's great. Um, again, like I said, a little bit sad about the gauge cluster situation, but this gauge cluster still looks fantastic. And I guess for the people that were worried that, you know, um, they were going to go all in with this gauge cluster, they're not. So that's great. And, you know, aside from that, I, I just think it's a good truck um, overall. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see changed in this. But I, I still think that Ram, you know, has a solid offering within this uh, segment. Because again, if you look at, you know, the other trucks, like the 5.7 Hemi V8s, it's, it's strong within this particular, you know, like non-luxury, but, you know, more comfortable truck segment. And actually the suspension might be comfortable, with the, more comfortable with the two-wheel drive truck. Because like less weight in the front end. I don't know, it, just, it feels like softer in a way. It's kind of weird, kind of weird. 
Um, That'll sum things up. Let me know what you guys think about the night edition. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this Bighorn. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the inventory in the description down below. Ask for Ryan. I'll see you.